guys, it's Charlie Watson at Paris Auto Speedway. Tonight we're going to start the new edition of Charlie's Corner, where we're going to interview fans, guests, sponsors, frequently, maybe weekly, monthly for sure. Our first attendant of the Charlie's Corner is Bruce Fisher, longtime spring car owner. Long time fan. He started with us in 96 with cars. Had some of the best sprint cars out here for a long time. And Bruce, what can you say about Paris Auto Speedway? Well, I think that Paris Auto Speedway saved sprint car racing in Southern California. I know there were some other tracks after uh, Ascot closed that picked up a little, but here at Paris, it's the premier sprint car track in the country. I bring people here who haven't been before and they go, this is a palace and I go yes it is and the racing here is fantastic the Oval Nationals are known throughout the world and it's the best and I'm here for damn, darn near every race I miss a few when I do my motorcycle ride sorry Bruce didn't bring some of his girlfriends tonight he always brings great looking gals I notice he's not doesn't have one this weekend but Bruce tell us uh, about some of the cars you've had and your, who's, who's been your best driver You've had a bunch of them. We have, we have. Uh, actually, I started out in the sprint car world, if you will, with a guy named Junior Kurtz, who actually we won the uh, Silver Crown in 92, uh, and then raced many a year with the Gardner family, and then I partnered up with a man named Sal Acosta, and we ran uh, quite a few years together. We had Eddie Worth, we had Mike Sweeney, we had, uh, we had Mike English, uh, uh, Jay Drake, and then in 97, my brother, uh, late brother and I, and another friend put together a team, and we ran our own sprint car team, Fisher Motorsports, and we started at that with Jay Drake, and we had Mike Boat, and we also had uh, Michael Smith, and then we had Steve Osling, which uh, we ended up, basically our racing career with Steve Osling, and won some big races here. I think Osling's going to be here tonight driving a car in uh, memory of the Pratt team. And you can tell us a little bit about the Pratt's while we're here. Oh my gosh, you talk about people who lived sprint car racing. Bill, sprint car owner for forever, and Evelyn, our pit steward, I guess we would call her, and Evelyn, uh, they've been replaying, she passed away last year, they've been replaying her voice. There's a picture of her, a picture there, of her up there. And she, she was our pit steward, and she called us all, all of us were her boys. Her boys. And, uh, She's in the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum, and right, rightfully so. And it's uh, Evelyn. There's not much you could say more than that she was mom to everybody. And when she said, "Get your car to staging," she meant get your car to staging. You know, I got a funny story about Evelyn. And John Scott hadn't won a race out here, and he, uh, but he was pretty fast a lot of the time. But he had hadn't won. So they get going, he's in the lead, there's a red flag, everybody stopped. Evelyn went out to John, leaned into that thing and said, John, if you want to win this race, you got to stand on that gas right as soon as the green flag goes, you know. John took off and he finally won a race. Right. But she was a dandy. We miss her so much. And uh, Bruce, I can't tell you how much we appreciate all you've done for the track. You've uh, always, every time I see it, it's a smile on my face. Love you. We, and, and, I mean, I bring people here. The, the girl that I brought a couple weeks ago that I've known for over 20 years has never gone to the sprint car races with me. I brought her here, and after the evening was over, she said, oh my God, I love this. This is wonderful. Can, yeah. I, can I gotta get a question in here? Do you pay those girls to come out here with you? Oh, I certainly <laughs> not. Well, they all cost. <laughs> That's a wrap.